Magic trick, it's really cool. Sure, sure. Watch right. this. Do you believe I can print this card out of my phone, pull the card off the screen and give it to you? Uh, I have nothing in this hand, nothing in this hand, but I'm gonna give you this card. Okay, you ready? Yes. It's for you. Hi, hey, what the fuck? <laughs> Hold, it's real. <laughs> Let me show you another trick. Read those triangles out loud. Let everybody see, but read the tri Yeah, read the triangles out loud, but let everybody see at the same time. Paris in the spring, bird in the hand, once in a lifetime. You sure? Paris in the spring, bird in the hand, once in a lifetime? Oh, Paris yeah. in the, the Paris spring, bird in the hand, once in a lifetime. No, once in... You can see it. Once in a... Oh, wait, what? What the fuck? Bird in the, the hand, once in a, a lifetime. There's two there's two there's two Bird in the other hand, once in a life. Once a, a lifetime. Oh, wow. <laughs> God damn it. You see how easily you can be deceived? Can I show you another know, magic trick? Sure. Yeah. yeah sure. Okay, are you a good person? Yeah. Let's see if you're mistaken about that, okay? Have you ever told a lie? All the time. Yeah. What do you call people who tell lies? Lies. So what are you? A liar. A liar. Have you ever taken something that doesn't belong to you ever? Oh shoot! What do, you, what do you call people who steal? Steal. 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 Robbers. Steal. Thieves or robbers. So what are you? A thief. No, you're a lying thief. Have your parents ever punished you? Yeah. Oh yeah. That means you haven't always honored your father and your mother. No, they're just uh, abuses. Yeah, don't be like that. Why? Oh, sorry. But you haven't honored your father and your mother. So, so by your admission, you're a liar, a thief, disobedient, rebellious. Is that a good person? No. See, you were wrong about that. Damn. And if you died today and God judged you, would you be innocent or guilty? Guilty. guilty. And should God let guilty people into heaven? No. No. Nope. So where would you have gone had you died yesterday? H-E double. That's right. You said it, I didn't. Do you realize I didn't ask, I didn't tell you anything, I only asked you questions? Yeah. So, but here's the good news. You don't have to go to hell. God did something for you because he loves you. What did he do for you? Jesus. He died on the cross. That's right. Does that mean everybody goes to heaven? No. Who goes to heaven? Most people do repent. So you say repent? Believers in what? Of what? Believe in God. Believe in God? Jews believe in God, Muslims believe in God. Are they saved? So, so what's the problem? Let me explain to you, okay? Let, let me kind of go back to the basics, okay? We're all sinners. I just proved it, right? God is going to punish every sin. If he punished you for your sin, where would you end up? Like you said? Be hell. Hell, yeah. Right. So here's what God did. He came into the world as a man, fully God, fully human, Jesus Christ. He lived a perfect life. He allowed himself to be punished, not for his sins, because he never sinned. He was punished for your sins and mine. If Jesus was punished for your sins, then God can set you free. He doesn't have to punish you anymore. Does that make sense? He gives you justice and mercy. They meet at the cross through Jesus, okay? But here's what you need to do for Jesus' punishment to count for your sins. You need to repent and believe in Jesus. Here's what Jesus said. He who believes in me has everlasting life. What do you have to do to go to heaven? In Jesus, right. Here's what, what it says in Acts 16, 31. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. How do you go to heaven? I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe in Jesus. Uh, read John 3.16. What's your first name? Lucas. Lucas. I'm going to change 3.16 by adding your name to John 3.16. For God so loved Lucas that he gave Jesus. That if Lucas would believe in Jesus, he won't have to go to hell, but he can go to heaven. How do you go to heaven, Lucas? By believing in Jesus. That's right. Do you believe that too? So you clearly didn't know how to go to heaven until I explained it to you, right? Yeah. I just shared with you what's called the gospel. Do you believe the gospel? Yeah. That Jesus died for you, rose again for your sins, okay? Are you ready to lay down your old life? Whatever sins you're into, drop them. Repent. Pick up the cross and follow Jesus. Are you ready to do that? A real, genuine following of Jesus. You ready? Yeah. Can I pray for you to receive Jesus? I'm going to make sure we're on the same page by asking four simple questions, okay? okay. Do you agree that you sinned against God? Yes. yes. Do you believe that Jesus died for you on the cross and paid the penalty? Yes. Do you believe he then rose again on the third day? Yes. yes. Do you commit to believe and obey Jesus forever and ever? Yes. What's your first name? Eduardo. Lu Eduardo? Eduardo, yeah. Lucas. Lucas. Daniel. Daniel. Y -Y. Spell it. W-Y-A-T-T.
Wyatt, okay. Heavenly Father, would you please receive these four young men into your kingdom? They just, they just heard the gospel and understood for the first time. Would you please save them by the power of Jesus' blood? Fill them with the Holy Spirit. Help them to be able to obey you by the power of the Holy Spirit. We'll pick that up in a second. I'll, I'll give you a new one. Um, would you please change them? Wash away their sins and help them to follow you. Turn them into mighty warriors for the kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Listen, guys. If you truly, truly did repent of your sins and believe in Jesus... You're saved right here, right now. But there are real believers and there are fake believers. Let me tell you how you can know what's the difference. Only two things. One, you continue to believe the gospel, that Jesus died for you, rose again, and that by repenting of your sins and believing, and believing alone, before works, without works, okay, you're saved. And two, you continue to grow in holiness. It's not just believing the right things in your head. Those right things that you believe in should change you into a new person and continue to change you. You should grow in holiness, become more and more like Jesus and less and less like the devil. If you have those two things in your life continuously to the day you die, you have every assurance that you're going to heaven. Does that make sense? So let me ask you this. Do you already go to a church? Yeah, I'm confirmed. Okay, so you're a Catholic? Yeah. Can I show you something really super important out of the Bible? This is really important, okay? Read out loud this gray box, nice and loud, uh, for by grace. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. Okay, what is that telling you? Take your time, it's okay. That believing saves you. What is, what is not involved? What, what is it saying is not involved in salvation? In red. Not of works. Yeah. What does that mean? What is it, what's God trying to tell you there? Not sure. That your salvation has nothing to do with your working for it, earning it, trying to climb a ladder. For okay, it's given to you as a gift. So stick out your hand for a second. If I give you a gift, have you worked for it? No, you just stuck out your hand. Yeah. But if I pay you for it, then that's called wages, right? Paying like a salary. Yeah. Right. So the only thing you can earn is death. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus, okay? So, the reason why, you could keep that, the reason why I pointed that out to you, do you agree with what the Bible says here? Yeah. The problem is the Catholic Church doesn't agree with the Bible. The Catholic Church says you have to w work for it, plus believe in Jesus. Yeah. But the Bible specifically says here and in like so many other places yeah. that you can't work for it. So I would encourage you to find a good Christian church. Do you live in the South Bay area? Uh, I do. Okay, try Calvary Chapel South Bay, Hope Chapel, uh, South Bay Community Church, um, Calvary Chapel LAX. Uh, there's a bunch of uh, church websites listed in there. I'm gonna give each one of you one, okay? We got more. And then, let's see. All right. James counts. So, I'm pretty sure the priests in there do not agree with oh. Ephesians 2, 8, and 9. I, I don't know if you're old enough to decide what church to go to. I think I am. Okay. 